Yay Networks. Hey guys, my name is Heather Lindsay. And my name is Cornelius Lindsay. And I'm so excited that you landed on Life with the Lindsays. This is so exciting. This gives us an opportunity to share our life with yours. Yes, we're going to be talking about everything from entrepreneurship to ministry to your purpose to why you are here. Family, parenting, relationships, marriage, sex, you name it. We are talking about it. So thank you so much for joining us today with Life with the Lindsays. Enjoy it. Hey y'all. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Life with the Lindsays. We don't have video today. Took a little break. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. You landed at like what? 1 a.m.? <laughs> Something crazy? Yeah, I landed at um midnight. Well, I landed at, at 12.30. I was supposed to get in at 8.30. But my flight from um, Charleston was delayed four times. Dang. They pushed my flight back from Atlanta to L.A. To like eleven o'clock. That's wild. So, Travel days, tough man. Yeah, it was bad weather. So a lot of people were, a lot of people were delayed. People in New York, I had bad weather there in New York, so it was really bad. Some of my guys, their flights got canceled, so they had to spend Dang. the night in in, um, in Charleston. So sucked. But Dang. finally got home, and then I take that long drive from LA oh. to the house, and, and it's just it's been been tough. But I'm here. We're here. We're still showing up. And I think that'd be a great thing to talk about today. Um, just continuing to be consistent, even when you don't feel like it. Like, I'm quite sure if we weren't recording this podcast or at some point today, you're probably going to the gym. Yeah. And yeah. honestly, like I work out, but like being consistent with working out is so hard for me. And I feel like it's hard for a lot of people. Yeah. But everybody sees your Instagram. They see like how crazy your workouts, how consistent they are. Like, how do you get to that place of like consistency with working out? Help me because I mean, you've trained me and I'm so thankful and I feel like I've gotten in much better, better shape, but you know. Yeah. Um, I feel like, I feel like, you know, working out for me is a lot more than just like trying to lose weight or mm. trying to look a certain way. Uh, working out for me is, um, it's mental health. It's like it's mm. real. It's real soul care because it working out for me is a way to escape. Mm. It's a way for me to kind <clears> of <throat> like kind of kind of put my frustrations and and uh, into the weight, kind of for me to it's almost like warp my reality so that I can I can do something that's beneficial for my body. Mm. And um, I mean, it helps me ultimately when I get finished. I feel energized. I feel encouraged. I feel I feel better about myself. Um, and I don't even get into like the psychological things that happen when you work out or even, you know, the body that, that you know, how things are, you know, certain things are released inside of your body when you work out. And so I think it's like constantly knowing I'm going to, I'm going to get that over and over again. It's like, it almost, it almost just becomes something I'm, I'm chasing after that. I want, I want it again. I want it again. I want it again. I know I'm going to be better after it. So, but working out is like, I know so many people who are like, man, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to get that drive. I don't know how to get right. that drive. It's so hard, especially when you feel like you're too busy or like, I don't know, like we'll go somewhere and we landed in Cabo and you literally went straight to the gym and I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I went to the gym cause I was like, man, I needed to, I, it's like, it's like that time to kind of break away. I don't know if it's like the, yeah. the small introverted side of me that's also like, yeah, I need to just kind of get some time. And then the yeah. time that I get, like, I want to. I want to go to the gym. I want to, I just want to, I want to, I want to work out. I want to better myself. I want to, um, you know, it's something about lifting those weights. So I'm like, it's something about, you know, touching the iron. It's something about, you know, lifting something that's heavier than you are. Something about feeling that pain and, yeah. and, and then getting finished and feeling that soreness. And it's just something about it. It's just like, keeps me going back to it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I think there are people out there who are like, man, I'm I'm trying to figure out how like, do I, get there. how do I get? Because <laughs> I'm not there. <laughs> yeah, because some people, I mean, and you may be listening to this, you may be like, I never want to get to that point. But right. I feel like some people out there, we we don't take enough, we don't take enough, um, we don't talk, we don't, we don't, we don't really think enough about our physical health. Yeah. And true. I feel like that's, that's problematic. 
I mean, that's the reason why I believe that soul care is the is the proper alignment between spirit, soul, and body. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the body is oftentimes the one that's left out, especially in um, especially in in a lot of Christian circles, Preach. where conversation is. You know, we, we we talk so much about healing, but we don't talk about health. Come on. So if you look out, if you look out around the world today, you see healing conferences, like all these healing conferences. Let's do a healing conference. We're going to heal you from this, heal you from that. And then, you know, we're always having people who are talking about, you know, spirit, this, this, the spirit of cancer and the spirit of this and the spirit of that. And it's like, well, no, it's not. This is not really hereditary. This is like what what is hereditary is not the cancer. What's hereditary is that you continue to right. eat. And continue to do the same things that your, your grandmama, your great grandmama, your grandfather, your great grandfather and all them. But they continue to do. Yeah. You're still eating the same foods. You're still doing the same things. You're not going to work out. You're not going to do things. And, and that's problematic. Like even, you know, during the whole, you know, pandemic or whatever it is. And everybody was talking about, oh, the government, they're so concerned about our health. And it's like, OK, well, you can get a you get a jab in your arm, but you get a jab. And then it's like they're giving you free Krispy Kreme donuts. Isn't that wild? I was like, hold up. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's problematic because it's like, it's like, hold up. Like, are, are you sure they're really concerned about about your physical health? And it's like, well, we're going to close down gyms. But I'm like, hold up. If a grocery store is essential and we need to make we sure that be. we keep we keep gyms open because we need people out. We need them walking. We need people losing weight. We need people, you know, uh, getting, getting, getting healthier. In fact, there were so many studies that came. I remember it was one that came out as a percentage, and it was a headline. I talked about it all the time during the pandemic, but it was saying that seventy-eight percent of the people who were hot of of um, of of the of the uh, of the pandemic uh, the hospitalization, seventy-eight percent of them were obese or overweight. Damn. And I thought, you know what? This is this is problematic. This is a problem, but we're not talking about it. Yeah. We're not talking about people need to get out, go work out. People need to. I mean, even if it's just going to take a walk. Yeah, you need to go and do something that's going to help to benefit your body. And we don't talk about that. Christian circles, we don't talk about that. We just, you know, we we sit here, we talking about, oh, we got to we got to bury, you know, Mother Lucille. She gone. She she done passed. And yeah, and and she died. You know, she I mean, she was overweight and had all these other kind of issues. And and then to raise money for her, we're going to do a fish fry. You're going to fry fish in a bunch of seed oils. That are ultimately gonna, are you gonna good, and it's just you know gonna hurt the congregation. Yeah, and it's like, well, we we just trying to raise his money for, yeah, and it's like, come on, come on, people, like we gotta we gotta do yeah. better. Yeah, we gotta do better with our eating. We gotta do better with That's our real. working out. We gotta do better with our movement, getting up, moving, doing something. I, mean, I don't care what it is. I don't care if you <laughs> do Zumba or <laughs> yoga or. I think that's key though, finding what works for you because what works for one person might not work for another person. Yeah. You know, like yeah. my thing was always running. You know, I love to run. I grew up running. It was like my jam. And so when I'd see people like killing themselves in CrossFit or <laughs> other things, I'd be like, that's not fun to me. What's fun to me is going for a long run in the middle of nowhere and just like smelling nature. And then yeah. you get older and then you get hit with pollen. <laughs> You'd be like, just kidding. But just I think that was I think that's what worked for me is figuring out like what I like to do. Like I love Pilates. I love bar. Now I love weights yeah. because I see it's giving me a little bit of shape. Yeah. I got a little hip, a little butt. <laughs> so it's just finding what works for me. And I think that's what's been helpful. For I me. think that is, in, I think that is incredibly important. I think yeah. that's incredibly you know, wise to say to find what works for you. And I've, I've done, sure. I've done a lot of different things. I've done strength training. Mm-hmm. Um, I did kickboxing for almost three years. I remember. And then didn't you get knocked out and you told me about it like three years later? <laughs> Yeah, like I, I did a lot of things. I, 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 I believe I broke my big toe, and for many years it was it, it just never operated right. Um, just kicking the bag, doing a, you know, doing swift kicks to the bag, roundhouse uh, low kicks to the bag, and then it just boom, it just it just hit, and like I, I fell to the ground. My my big toe wasn't one move and couldn't move it, and so you know just kind of wrapped it up, got back up. You know, I was just went back into squats and burpees and stuff like that, but. <laughs> And then, you know, I got to that place where I was like, oh, man, I, maybe I want to spar. Like, maybe I want to get into this. Maybe I want to join the team, uh, this gym I was going I to in Atlanta. And I got in the, I got in the, uh, in the cage with one of the guys. And, you know, he went, he, he, he went and he kicked, roundhouse kick, got me right in the face. And I was, I was knocked <laughs> out, got me right in the face. Literally knocked out, right? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know. 
I, I did that and I, I love kickboxing. I loved it. I love the, I love the art of it. I love the discipline that, that, uh, that came from it. And then I left CrossFit. I mean, I left, uh, um, kickboxing. I've done CrossFit many times, you know, joined CrossFit gyms and, you know, got into the whole CrossFit thing. And then, you know, I get into hit workouts and I do the hit workouts over and over again. And those are, those are mad dope. And now I'm kind of back to strength training. So I, I find, I kind of, I kind of mix it up and I feel like that's also necessary because if you just do strength training and all you do is bulk, 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 bulk with your muscles, but you don't have any, you don't have any like, you know, real movements and you yeah. go stiff. And I know a lot of guys they are really big. They're really, really, really big. They're really, really strong, but they're super, super stiff. Like they can't, like they can, they can do a couple squats, but they can't do like, you know, jump, like, you know, lunge, uh, lunge jumps and stuff like that. So I feel like, you know, we gotta, we gotta, you need to, you need to just change it up a little bit. And speaking of speaking of uh, changing it up a little bit, you know, we talk about our sponsor, BetterHelp. Mm-hmm. Uh, how amazing, absolutely amazing that they are, and, and how and how amazing um, that they've they've been you know they've been to us just over the years. I mean, you know, we, we, we believe in better. therapy. Uh, we share we share them with we share them with all of our friends. Uh, and the main reason is because BetterHelp helps to provide helps to provide professional therapy. Mm-hmm. To those individuals who are who are really in need, you know, and yeah. it all depends whether it's stress, anxiety, whether you have family issues. I mean, some people have you know issues with your school. You're depressed. You're having you're having these thoughts of um, of uh, of of life, of expiration. Mm-hmm. I mean, you have all these different things going through your head right now. You need somebody to talk to, yeah. and you don't want to go into an office. You know, you don't you want to be able to have something that's online that is confidential because. You know, you don't want to share your stuff with somebody who's going to ultimately share it with somebody else. You want to make sure that you have have that one on one experience. Here's the thing: they're professional, and yeah. I, one thing I love about BetterHelp is that number one, they provide financial aid for those who need it, and number two, they're really good about helping, about allowing for you to find a therapist that works for you, so you're not just stuck into one therapist that may not understand your context or your culture. Yeah, definitely. So you guys can connect right now with an amazing therapist online. Um, you actually get matched. So you go on, fill out a form, you get matched with somebody that fits your needs and what you need. Now, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Life with the Lindsay's listeners. Get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash Lindsay's. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Lindsay's. Yeah. And Lindsay's is L-I-N-D-S-E-Y-S. So in talking about like being consistent with like working out and being healthy, like Food plays a huge role in that, yeah. right? And it's so funny because when we first got married, I was always checking labels. And you were like, when we die, we going to die, right? And yeah. it's so funny because now you're like, no, I don't want the kids eating that. Look at the back of it, yeah. you know? But I feel like our food has a big part to play in how we feel about ourselves. Yeah. No, our I, cavities, everything. It's all connected. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I feel like when you know better, you do better. And when you don't, when you don't know better, you just, you just choose not to do better. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes, you know, we feel like ignorance is bliss, but ignorance is really deadly. Yeah. Because it's, it's gonna, it's taking us out. We don't even know it. We don't see it. And so, you know, nowadays I'm looking at the back of things and I'm noticing, man, it has a ton of seed oils in it, Mm. a bunch of stuff in it that, Mm. um, that my body, that my body will not break down well in. Mm. And I'm looking at, you know, you look at everything today. It's like, it's fried food. It's made quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a lot of processed food. Like mm-hmm. even people who are like, Oh, I'm going vegan. It's like, you know, one thing I can respect about you about being a vegan is that you won't, you won't mess with a lot of processed vegan food. Yeah, fake stuff. You know, I won't do it. Cause I'm looking at, I'm looking at people out and they're like, Oh, I'm going vegan, but you're eating like, you know, the beyond burgers. And it's like, you got to think about it, yo. So toxic. You got to think about it. It's <laughs> like, okay. So like you a vegan, but you talk like you, you're like, well, I'll never eat the meat again. Well, the meat, I mean, at least I know mine came from one source. It just came from the cow. Nothing else added to it. Yeah. But yours came from beans and and seed oils and everything that was combined all together and, you know, formed together to make this patty that simulates the idea that you're eating the same thing that I'm eating. So it's like you're eating processed food and you're eating junk that is marketed to you to make it seem like it's healthier. I think for vegans, it's not just so much about, you know, the process part for some, for them, for them, it's more, they care about animals. They can care about animals, but you know, I mean, care about yourself too. Yeah. 
I mean, for, I mean, I, or make your own veggie burgers. You know, I do that. That's what, that's what I'm like, saying. Like, you know, have a food processor. I mean, yeah. I mean, if if you go, yeah, that's why I say I respect, I respect that about you. Like, you at least, you know, you won't you won't go to route of just like, oh, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm healthy. I feel like that's what that's what yeah. our advertisers do. Yeah, that's what the FDA does. Like, so that's why true. I don't trust the FDA because it's all it's I like don't trust none of them ninjas. <laughs> it's like you know they're like, well, this is healthier. Yeah, like you know, kids in the morning they're like, oh, you know, they they make commercials that show like kids eating pop tarts in the morning. Yeah. What you don't understand is that if you start your kids off eating sugar in the morning, it messes up their their whole bodily rhythm all yeah. throughout the day. Yeah. So they're 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 you know they're taking down cereal or in the morning they're eating mm-hmm. pop tarts or you know waffles full of syrup. It's like yeah. that's already messing up their rhythm for the rest of the day. Yeah. And they don't they're not their body's not being fueled properly. So I think when you know better, you start doing better. Oh, you said something real key, and it just made me think. Why did I, I had, I worked out real hard yesterday. I had one shake and I ate one meal and that's all I ate for the day. And I think that's why I went and grabbed some apples and butter because I'm so hungry. But I think this is another big thing. People skipping meals because they're too busy Yeah. or they're slammed or they just forget to eat. I know my assistant, we have to remind her, don't we, to eat like every day. We're like, have you ate today? Because she'll work 12 hours a day by choice and she won't eat. Yeah. And so like, that's another big, like what happens to our bodies when we're not, eating well your body is like your body is a machine Mm -hmm. so what you put into it is what you're going to ultimately get out of it the problem with people that we have nowadays we're like okay like we've heard people say okay we need to eat six times a day in order to keep our metabolism moving well i mean i I feel like that's partial truth but it's not the full truth because when you come into it you can you can even throw in like intermittent fasting for those people who are listening like oh yeah some people may not eat from like you know they stop eating at 9 p.m and they don't eat until 9 a.m because remember Mm -hmm. You know, breakfast is important because it's all about breaking the fast. You're, you're fasting at night when you sleep. Then mm-hmm. when you get up, you break the fast. You eat mm-hmm. breakfast. I think the problem that most people have is that it's the fact that maybe, maybe they're not eating, you know, yes, they're not eating enough, but also the fact that they're not eating the right things. So when you eat a bunch of junk, you may feel full, but your body is not, your body received no nutrients from it. Mm-hmm. So I can eat a whole bag of Doritos because I'm, mm. oh man, I want to get some memory real quick. I eat a whole bag of Doritos, but that's not nutritious for my body. Yeah. So I may have a feeling as if I'm full, but I receive no nutrition. So mm. my body's still reaching out saying, oh man, I wish I had some, ca- I wish I had some calcium, wish I had some potassium, wish I had this, mm. I wish I had that, I wish I had this stuff. So if I don't, if I don't eat the Doritos and I eat something that is hip, I eat something that is, is more nutritious, like that's going to be better ultimately for my body. And but, but a lot of people just don't like it. So like I had to learn this. I had to train myself to like certain things. I remember I went on a you probably remember it was that whole month where I was like, I'm just eating raw. We were we were living in Mississippi. We went to that nutritional store. And remember we just bought a I think I spent like two fifty that day on all this stuff. Nutritional yeast, <clears throat> yeah, sprouts, all this stuff. Like I wanted to make everything from scratch for that month. Yeah. And kind of detox my body. And it's so crazy because I ended up getting pregnant right after I yeah. did that month detox. But I felt like I really needed it because I felt like my skin was breaking out. Like I didn't feel healthy. I was eating dairy, like different things were happening. I think it was, I was eating meat before that. And that started my journey of being plant based. But I just realized like I when I would eat the food, I'm like, man, this does not taste super good. Yeah. I mean, I seasoned it. But it still was new to me, right? Because I'm eating meat and then all of a sudden I'm raw, right? Yeah. And so I said, I need to train myself to like to eat healthier foods. Yeah. So let me just train my taste buds. I can untrain them from wanting sugar and and train them to want more plant-based foods. Yeah. And that's how I started my journey of truly eating healthier again. Yeah. I mean, uh, like what you say, you got to, you got to, you have to train it. Yeah. Advertisers, they already know, like mm-hmm. the, the the snack cookie companies, they already know, mm-hmm. they already know what tastes good. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why the shit, the cookies and stuff, they're packed full of sugar because they know that, I mean, sugar, sugar is just as addictive as cocaine. It does the same mm-hmm. thing to your, to your brain as cocaine. Mm-hmm. So, you know, when you get finished eating, you know, you know how we do, we be like, oh, I'm full. And we're like, I want something sweet because our, mm-hmm. our brain is is mm-hmm. initially, you know, going towards, oh, I need to have something that's going to fill up my body, fill up my body. I feel like I need something sweet now. I feel like I have that craving for it. And that's because, you know, uh, throughout our meal, we're not, we're not eating, we're not eating the right stuff. Like, you know, with the meal, with the meal, you know, you could have threw in like some berries and, you know, threw in some, some raw honey and 
uh, maybe doing like, you know, some, some, uh, some Greek yogurt, you know, plain, plain Greek yogurt or something like that. Threw that in there with the meal. And then that kind of satisfies the, the, satisfies the taste and the need to go and get, you know, a piece of cake or, you yeah. know, instead of, you know, saying, well, I need to go get me some, some gobstoppers or give me some Laffy Taffy or whatever it is. You like, mm-hmm. I can give me some grapes. Like one of the things we found out we loved is we throw grapes in the freezer. Oh yeah. That's we just let those grapes house. sit there. <laughs> and I mean, it's good. And speaking of grapes and all this kind of food, um, We've been, we we absolutely love uh, Hello Fresh. Um, I mean, to be able to get the the farm fresh, pre proportioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to our doorstep is absolutely amazing. Um, we can skip trips to the grocery store and count on Hello Fresh to make it you know make uh, cooking at home easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why a, a, a Hello Fresh is America's number one meal kit. You can get fresh farm, a seasonal produce, and easy to make recipes delivered right to your door. Every single week, HelloFresh uh, chefs really know how to diversify the menu with seasonal recipes like salmon, linguine, and pasta primavera. Um, and uh, HelloFresh has fit and wholesome uh, recipes for satisfying and nutritious meals that can make you feel good um, about with all the you know, six recipes per week to choose from, including low calorie and carb conscious options. Like we got, I mean, you can get one for vegetarians. I can get one yeah. for the meat eaters. So. Yeah. They really cater to every part of the family. Yeah. But you have a million different diets yeah. in your household. Now, you guys, go to hellfresh.com slash LWL16 and use code LWL16 for up to 16 free meals and free three free gifts. Come on, y'all. Go to hellofresh.com slash LWL16 and use code LWL16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Now, this is America's number one meal kit, and we know why. The food is super fresh. It's good, and we love it. Yeah, and the fact that you can just show me a picture and be like, you want this or this. Like, what do you want for dinner? Everything is already easy. there, so you don't have to worry about, like, oh, I don't have garlic. No, it's all the garlic you need is right there yeah, in the amazing. box. It's absolutely amazing. Um, but kind of segue from that, we have we have a lot of businesses that, you know, got started during the pandemic, and, uh, and I mean, we're we're kind of we're coming into the second quarter of uh, – of, um, um, of the year and you know things are things may not be as crazy as they once were but you know so it's become a lot diff- a lot more difficult for businesses to be able to ship things and make sure they get to people on time because people want to get you know their stuff on time and online shopping isn't slowing down anytime soon uh, and you got to ask yourself is your is your business uh, ready to uh, keep up with the pace so with ship station you'll never have to worry about shipping again you make the switch to a solution that handles all your shipping needs quickly affordably and painlessly, ShipStation is already trusted by over 100,000 e-commerce sellers, uh, including uh, my wife and I. Yeah. So it's funny. You know, I have the Busy Trader. The BusyTraders.com if anybody wants to check it out. But we're actually opening up a store um, with like sweet sweatshirts, hoodies, all that other stuff. And we're using ShipStation to ship everything. Dope. We've been using it forever. It's so nice. It's like one portal that has all of our orders and it connects to like Amazon, Shopify, whatever, whatever platform you're using to host your your website. So I can manage every single order from anywhere, even from my phone. There's no headaches with dealing with returns or return tracking. ShipStation makes it so, super easy. Also, I always find that I save money. I can choose the best carrier that's got the best price that works for me. And I don't know, I really love it. So I'm excited about our new hoodies coming out. Yeah. So ship more in less time with ShipStation. Uh, use our offer code LWTL to get 60 day free trial. That's two months free of no hassle, stress free shipping. Just go to shipstation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in LWTL. ShipStation, make ship happen. Hey. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, y'all like, but yeah, I mean, even, even stuff like that, like with HelloFresh, yeah. I feel like, you know, with HelloFresh, it, it makes, it makes it easier for you to cook at home, which yeah, is yeah. more affordable. You actually know what's in your food. Mm-hmm. You know, the mm-hmm. salt intake, like you, you, cause you made it. We've been talking about, yeah, that goes perfectly with this podcast today. Yeah. Like what's in your food? Do yeah. you even know? I don't know about you, but like, I'd always get bloated after <sighs> eating Chinese food. Mm-hmm. Like I just felt like they poured the sodium and then. I went on Chipotle's website and I was looking at the sodium content and I was blown away. Yeah. I was like, I'll never eat Chipotle again. Yeah. Ever. And then, you know, every now and then the kids might want it. So I just go and check online and just make sure whatever they're choosing doesn't have a lot of salt in it. Yeah. But it's, it's real. Yeah. And I, I mean, it's, it is crazy. It's not just, it's not just a sodium. 
Yeah. It's everything else. It, it, it yeah. is the seed oils. It's the, yeah. it's some of the ingredients that are put inside of it that, mm-hmm. that does that. Mm-hmm. Um, because a lot of the bloating can come from the gluten. I mean, you, you don't even know what kind of, or what kind of allergies, what kind of awareness your body has that your body's saying, do not, like, do not continue to keep giving me this. Mm. You're giving me something that I do not want. You give me something I cannot use. You give me something I cannot benefit from. And you're just pouring it over, you know, putting it, putting it in me more and more and more. Mm-hmm. And we're trying to figure out, okay, how do I lose? What yeah. do I need to do? Like, why am I not losing the gut? Why am I not doing this? And that's because we're, we're still packing it in. That's like, real. Like, you know, I, I take a couple of months out of the year to bulk up. So you're I bulk doing up. that now. You're like massive. Well, I mean, I'm, so now my goal is to now, you know, go back down. So I got up to, I got up to, to 225. And I mean, that's, that's pretty big seeing that, you know, I started this journey at like 191. So I'm a lot stronger. I'm a lot bigger. You know, I'm a lot, I'm, I'm, I'm huskier. I'm, I'm, I mean, that's, that was the goal, but now it's like, okay, when it's time to slim back down, like, you know, I know what to do. I know I have to, I know I have to pull back from the breads. It's like, you know, if I'm going to eat my meat and stuff like that. I'm going to just eat my meat and my eggs. And, you know, yeah. I know I'm going to, I know I'm going to go to my, my fruits. I'm, I gotta, I gotta stay off the desserts. Like I know I have to go to the fruits like right before be- spring break <laughs> yep. like berries and well like berries and greek yogurt and honey is like my best friend because it's like an amazing amazing dessert mm-hmm. um but i know i can get like natural sugar from it i know i can get you know all that kind of good stuff but um i know what i have to do to pull back yeah. in order to in order to get the in order to get the body that i want the body that i'm after and then i also know what i have to do to sustain it the problem is it's like you know sustainability because the way you know, continue to eat like that is not necessarily fun. Yeah. Especially, right. you know, you go to, we go to kids' birthday parties. And, and then like spring break, out. we're going to be at hotels and Uber Eats. And, yeah. And, you know, I always love like getting donuts on vacation. I don't know. I don't eat donuts ever. Yeah. But then when we go on vacation, I want a good cronut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, and then even with stuff like that, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm here in here. So I don't think my wife and I were trying to make a law about anything. Like you just right. need to eat a certain way. And then this is how it's going to be, you know, I think, I think if you, if you look at the way you eat and if you start to make small adjustments over time, I feel like that is a whole lot better than you just trying to make a big adjustment uh, right now. Like people say, people say, well, you know, I, I, I want to be a vegan. Well, your problem might be that you're trying to do everything mm-hmm. way too like, at, at yeah. one time. You're just trying to yeah. cut it all off cold turkey. Yeah. Well, maybe you start pulling back one by one. You know, I don't, I'm not going to eat this. I'm not going to eat that. I'm not going to eat this. Like me, I love my carnivore uh, diet. I love my carnivore lifestyle. I'm not a veggie person at all. <laughs> if I never ate cauliflower, broccoli, you know, and green I still beans. I try to sneak it in on our food all the time. And, and like, I, I, I will not eat it. <laughs> I was just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a greens person. I'm not a salad person. I have my own views about, you know, salads and, and all those different things and what they do to my body. So I don't, I don't touch salads. It makes me snatched. Uh, it makes me snatched. What, the salads and stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have, you know, I have, I have an opinion about that. We're not going to get into that. Yeah, you know, I have, I, have an, I have an opinion, but I mean, a lot of the vegans I see, I'm like, you know. There's some, there's some ripped Vegans like you, body weight, and I, I so I, I look, I looked up a couple of them, and, and they're and, ripped. Well, but here's the, here, but here's the, here's the thing. Yeah, baby, they are. Ta- I, I see the supplements they're taking, and now I see why they're able to to bulk up like to bulk that. up like they're that. Taking their protein because there's they're, they're yep yeah, they're taking there's protein, protein, creatine. It's like it's like they're they're still they're still utilizing a lot of different supplements stuff like that. What supplement? You do no, lots no, no, of proteins no, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, I do that. I'm saying because that, that's what ultimately helps you yeah. to kind of bulk, bulk up, up, you yeah. know. But even like, you know, vegans, like you can, you can, you can be, you can be a dirty vegan, very much so. Dirty vegan where you're eating French fries. There was a show, and, the dirty okay, vegan. Oh, it was. <laughs> it was so scandalous. But that's 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 the dirty veganism. Yeah. Like you know, people are like, oh, I'm vegan, but like you're a dirty vegan because all you eat is just you know foods that are yeah that are, that are dirty that you know really aren't really aren't you know doing doing you the best. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe if you're out there, you're like, man, I want to make a change to my my lifestyle, my eating yeah. habits. Maybe you go back and you say, okay, I'm going to make a change, but the change I'm going to make is actually, mm-hmm. uh, I'm just going to be a slow incremental change. Yeah, I'll I'll remove this. Like, yo, if y'all yeah. still drinking sodas, like, yo, cut that out, man. Right. Coke and pet, like, like please cut that out. That stuff yo. is so bad for you. Like cut out sodas, like go to, go to water. In fact, you know, I'm a, I'm a big proponent of mineral water. 
Yeah. I don't feel like we get the right, we don't, we don't get our minerals yeah. anymore uh, in our body. So we find ourselves dehydrated a lot because we don't have the, we don't, we are not taking in, we don't have the right salt intake. Yeah. We've been told over the years that salt, it was bad for us, which is absolutely wrong. It's a certain type of salt that we, uh, that we need and we need, our body needs Himalayan. it. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we just like swap that out. That's yeah. a quick swap. Yeah. It's well, the pink salt, y'all. The Himalayan pink salt. And I mean, you, but you, your body needs the minerals and we yeah. don't, we don't get that enough. We get all of the cheap random crap because you got to remember every food, every food company who advertises to you, they're only after one thing. They're after your money. Yeah. And then the pharmaceutical companies that ultimately you have to go to because you have diabetes and all those things, they too do not care because they want your money. If hospitals and pharmaceutical companies, if you are healthy, guess what, y'all? They can't make money. They can't make money if you're healthy. They're about making money. And so you need to make sure you come up off of that. That's true. It makes me think about the new COVID guidelines and nothing on there said like sun or vitamin D or like, hey, eat healthier. Yeah, or even, <laughs> yeah, or even, um, even like, you know, natural immunity. Yeah. Go for a walk. <laughs> like, you know, we, we weren't even talking about that. Like, it was like, oh, no, natural immunity, that's not it. You can, it's just like, no, bro. Like, yeah. like our, our, our body, we, we, have, we have an immune system. We have an immune system for, um, uh, for a reason. But, like, legit, yeah. y'all got to gotta really think about your health. Remember, soul care is proper alignment, spirit, soul, mm -hmm. spirit, spirit, mind, body. And I guarantee if you start getting, if you start getting your body together, your mind's going to get together. And then if, I mean, you know, it's like it, it all, when, when you all, when you get it all properly aligned and you make it a part of your life, um, your whole life begins to change and you'll begin to see the change and you begin to feel better about yourself because you know, Hey, I'm out, I'm walking. Um, and don't be intimidated. Don't be intimidated by iron. Don't be intimidated by push ups. Don't be intimidated by squats. Like I hear that from people a lot. They're like, Oh, I don't want to go to the gym because I'm intimidated when I walk in. Like people say, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Here's the thing. You know, I've, I've, I've been, I've been going to the gym for many years. The gym is not a place that intimidates me at all. I mean, um, at all. You, you're like killing it in yeah. any gym you go to. Yeah. I, I, it does intimidate me, but I, I, I know how that feeling was when I first stepped into it. And I'm like, I'm seeing all these big guys, I'm seeing them lift. And I'm like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I have proper form. I don't know if I have this. And here's the thing. I've, I've messed up a lot. I've messed up a lot. I messed up doing my squats when doing them right, leaning over, stuff like that. You know, sometimes I can't get my, I don't get my butt all the way down when I'm doing the deadlifts and, you know, lifting with my back instead of lifting with my quads. Like I've, I've messed up a lot. One of the things that, that you have to know to do is that when you, when you get ready to start, just make sure that you know, I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going to stay consistent with this thing. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep doing exactly what I have to do. And Again, it's incremental steps. It's baby steps. Mm -hmm. If you can't do 10 push-ups, do one. Tomorrow, do two. You know, the next day, do three. If you can't get up to 10, then just keep doing seven. And I guarantee you pretty soon you'll be able to push yourself to do eight. You know, if, if you're like, well, man, you know, I don't, I, don't think I, I don't think I can run 10 miles. Just run one. If you can't run a mile, walk a mile. And then push yourself to run a quarter of a mile. And then walk the next quarter and then run the next quarter and then walk. The, it's like, you know, just do incremental steps. If you can't do, if you can't do 300 uh, sit ups, just do 20, you know? So don't beat yourself up over what you can't do. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't do it. But instead be like, yo, I'm going to get at this thing. I'm going to get after it. I'm going to do what I have to do in order to get what I need. Just stay consistent at it because you matter and you value. And you'll start to see changes in your body and you have more energy, more confidence. And I love it. Yeah. I think it's so important. So yeah. what should we call this podcast? Help me come up with a name. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Put the donut down. The donut down. If you want that. But does mm. that, is that, is that pulling everything together though? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Still like, right i'm still on a flight right now <laughs> but yeah. yeah that was amazing we love you guys thanks for always supporting and tuning in and commenting we we really love and appreciate you guys' support and help us out y'all go ahead smash the like button if you're watching this on youtube or 
you're on our podcast, make sure you give us five stars. Yes. Thank y'all so much, man. God bless y'all. We'll talk to y'all next week.